Hey, it's me, Miss B. So you're in music class, and I'm not. I'm going to try to teach you how to make your maraca while I'm gone, so that way your class doesn't get behind. So last week, we talked about Mexico. Remember what the name of the band was called in Mexico? Does anybody remember? Anybody say Matarachi? Yeah, remember that was the that had like three to four people in the band. They wore the big hats that were called. You remember? Sombreros. Does anybody remember what their suits were called? Charros. All right. And they had usually the three different guitars with them and a trumpet and violin or a heart, maybe. Does anybody remember the three different guitars that we learned about? One was called the guitar because it was from America, right? Same time we played but it had a medium sound. Then two, there was the giroton. Remember, it had the low sound. But what was the high one? Anybody remember? Vuela. The vuela was the littler guitar and it had a higher sound when we play it. All right, and those are all in the Madarachi bands. Now, we're gonna make a maraca because maracas are a lot of times used in the Spanish culture in their music in Spain and in Mexico, all right? So we're making two different kinds though. Um, some of the kids are making some that are made out of Easter eggs and then some of y'all are making them out of water bottles, okay? Depending on what class you're in or what grade you're in, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make both. First, we will show you how to make the ones with the Easter eggs. And then after that, then you can um, stop the video if that's the kind that you're making. Um, or um, then after that, I'll show you how to make the ones with the water bottle. Now, while you are making your Easter eggs, be good for this up, okay? Do not go crazy and wild. I'm gonna have her play some, um, some Spanish music in the background and I'll have you some color sheets that kind of review the stuff that we've already talked about with Mexico and you can sit there and color until she calls you up to make your maraca with her, okay? So don't be wild. Please be good for her. Um, and then next week, we'll probably do some more patterns with our Morocco. I know I said I'd do two weeks in Mexico, but I think three weeks would be better because it takes all class period usually to do everybody's Morocco. Okay. So does anybody remember also the birthday party when you turn? What age was it? Do you remember? Mm, anybody know? When you turn 15, they have a big what? Does anybody know? In Mexico, when you're a girl and you turn 15, they have a big quinceañera. Quinceañera is what it's called. Okay. So you might remember say, how are you in Spanish? Como esta? And then you respond, muy bien means very good. Okay. All right. Let's make a maraca. Okay. Um, first, Miss Sanders will call you up and she will ask you what color egg you want. Now, listen, do not put your hands in this basket trying to figure out what color you want. Let Miss Fanders pick it out so that way we do not spread germs, okay? So um, if there's an egg that you're one that's at the bottom, like I said, don't stick your hand in here trying to get it out. Let Miss Sanders get it out, okay? So pick whatever egg it is that you want, all right? And then once you get the egg, all right, you will fill it. I'll have this on the floor, all right? And you'll get down on the floor. And make sure you hold your egg over this rice bucket okay i do not want rice all over my floor because i like the janitors i want to keep them nice and 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 take care of my room okay all right so you only fill it halfway with rice and here's the reason why if you fill this all the way with rice guess what's going to happen it's not going to shake it's not going to make noise all right so this is halfway i'm going to close it you hear that noise that's a good amount of rice in there if you say oh man i'm going to fill this up all the way with all the rice Guess what's gonna happen? When you go to close it, there's hardly any noise at all. So you only want it halfway full. You don't have to fill it that full. Once you fill it like this, okay? Then you will hand it to Miss Sanders, okay? Close your egg over the basket, remember, so you don't get rice all over the floor. Once you close it, don't start shaking it, okay? Because a lot of these have holes at the bottom, all right? And that rice will fall out. Hand your egg to Miss Sanders when she's ready, okay? We'll take two spoons, and Ms. Sanders will do this, okay? She'll need two spoons, and then she can ask you, she'll ask you what color tape you want. I'll have this tape laying out on my desk. I've got like a mint green, a purple, pink, um, another a couple other colors, and then um, also a silver color, okay? She'll ask you what color you want, and um, then she'll tape it, okay? Um, to the best you can. 
just tape um, the bottom first to get rid of those little um, little holes and then tape the seam. And then once you are done, hold up, wait a minute. I'm going to go get one to show you what it looks like, okay? Um, they'll look kind of like this. This is a class that I've already typed, okay? And they work well. Now, they are not meant to shape super, super hard and go crazy with them, okay? We don't have time to go by and fix everybody's maraca after they've gone wild with it. So don't go crazy with it, all right? And um, if you drop it on the floor, it'll break just like an egg would on the floor. I'm going to tell you because somebody else cracked theirs earlier. And then you have to wait to see when the teacher is able to fix it for you because she's got all these other maracas that she's got to make, okay? So that's how you make the egg maraca. If you're at home and you're watching this virtually, um, you can use any kind of tape. It doesn't necessarily have to be duct tape. I just use duct tape because it's the easiest thing to do. If you don't have rice, you can use beans. You can use rocks. Um, there's all different kinds of things that you could think of. If you don't have an Easter egg, you can also use, if you'll look at that slide, if you're at home, because I don't have to record this twice, um, you can um, use it uh, like a, a gum container. See if I can find Actually, honestly, if you even have a Scentsy thing, you could put two spoons between this, tape it up, and close that, and put some rice in it, and you could shake it, and that would make a rocket. Uh, let me see if I got something else on my desk that I could show you. Um, this is an empty um, M and M container that would even work too. Let's see. If you need to make rockets in your class now, you can go ahead and pause the video um, or stop the video, and y'all can get started. I'm just trying to show those at home like some different things. Oh, you could use masking tape too. Also, if you know that, I wish I could find. Well, I've got pictures on the side where you can see. Um, you can use different types of containers, um, whatever it might be. Oh, a Tic Tac container. Those will work too in between that. Or a gum container. Um, this had gum in it, so you could use that and put stuff in it. You can kind of a little container around the house. It doesn't necessarily have to be an Easter egg. It just fits well because it's round and it fits good in those spoons. All right, so that's how you make a Morocco with your spoons. Um, and the people that will be doing this will be grades um, kindergarten through um, second. Okay. And that's how they're making maracas. All right. Now, for third and fourth grade, it's a little different. It's a little bit more complicated, but you can do it. All right. So here we go. Third and fourth grade, this is how you make your maraca. You will be given a water bottle, okay? Just a small one. And if you're at home, you can make your maraca the same way, okay? You need the little eight ounce, not the big, huge ones, okay? Um, believe it or not, um, we are going to have you drink the water because water is good for you, right? When you drink your water, do not suck it so hard that um, it crinkles your bottle because you want to keep the shape. You need the shape just like this to stay, okay? So um, you will do that. So you'll drink your water. And this one, I'm going to sit here and drink it. I didn't realize how much water this was to guzzle all of a sudden while I'm recording myself. Hold up, wait a minute. I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh my goodness, it's really cold. It was just in my classroom. All right, Miss Boyd has her water bottle finally empty. Listen, there is no way I could drink everybody's water in their bottle to make it empty, so that's the reason why you're going to drink your own water. All right, just don't lose your lid either. All right, now you need to take the paper off of this around here. It's pretty simple and easy. So take that off and don't leave it on my floor. Make sure it goes in the trash can. All right. Then once it's empty, take the lid off. And um, since the music is playing, I want you to just kind of shake it a little bit to kind of air it out. Make sure there's no water in there because you don't want to be throwing water on the person who's standing beside you. Okay. Throw it, or not throw it. Do not throw your water bottle. Um, throw it, like wave it in the air and kind of get it dried out um, because um, it's just easier that way. You probably need to be, I don't know, 20 or 25 of these little arm movements around the head. However you want to do it, just dry it out. If you're at home, I'll be honest, I would do it. I would drink your water and then let this thing dry out overnight, honestly, because you don't really want moisture in there. Um, we're not trying to grow beans to be jacking the beans stock, huh? All right. So. About 20 movements around, get it moved around. Now, 
for y'all, instead of rice, I have a big container um, that, hopefully I can show this, it's pretty heavy, all right, a big container of like mixed beans and things like that. Do not eat anything that's in this basket, okay? Do not eat. Do you understand? Do not eat it. It's not healthy. Not good. Not cooked. All right. So you will take about half a handful. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm not very good at this. Oh, snap. There's a bean on my computer. Oh, can you see it? There we go. Half a handful. All right. You don't need a ton. Again, it's just like how we were doing the Easter egg. You don't need a ton. All right. And then um, hold your bottle over the basket, okay? Drop it in. Anyway, don't do a ton because we gotta we gotta have um, other people. It's about a handful or half a handful. Okay, down there at the bottom. Okay, then you'll put your lid on it. Then you will give it to Miss Sanders. Okay, now be patient with Miss Sanders because this will take her a little bit. Hopefully, she's handy with the glue gun. Now, for those of you at home, this is when the glue comes in order, and your parents need to help you. Don't use the glue gun by yourself because you'll end up burning yourself. Okay. I burn myself all the time with it and it does not feel good. All right. You will need this and you need um, a toilet paper roll. Let me show you. All right. What I've done, I have a bunch of paper towel rolls. Okay. They're empty. Um, if you take your scissors, oh, you can cut them into three different ones. Okay. You don't want them too short, but you also don't want them, you know, like really long. We have other kids that we've got to make these for. They're probably not the best scissors. All right. So you have one like this, okay? See how I've got all these? Now, here's the thing for Miss Anders. Okay, you will cut like this down the center of it. It's like this now, okay? Once she does that, okay, what she's going to do, and you can do this at home, I suggest that um, I use a glue gun, okay, just because it's easier. You could use Elmer's glue, just the regular old school glue if you were at home. I got a bottle of that somewhere. I don't know. Um, and you could totally use that. All right. I suggest that you glue your lid on, okay, just, just to kind of make sure you don't have no flying beans when you're making Moroccan music, okay? All right. So you will glue around here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, okay? Um, and then she will put the lid on, okay? She's going to do all this, not you, okay? Or your parents. New, again, don't use a glue gun, okay? So yeah. All right. Um, now you've got this. So what we'll do is we're going to put a layer of glue. If you're using the hot glue gun, you'll put a layer of glue around that lid right there, okay? If you're not using a hot glue gun, Use your Elmer's glue. And it's going to be a little bit trickier with the Elmer's glue because you're going to have to hold that in place a little bit while it's drying because I have to do that even with a hot glue gun, okay? Um, if you don't have glue, honestly, you could use the duct tape, okay, um, if you're at home. Um, just use some kind of tape and just tape this sucker on because what you're doing is you're making a handle for your Moroccan. It's just faster and easier to use the hot glue gun, okay? So first, a layer of glue. Sorry, my thing won't reach very long around um, the slit. Then you take the end of your toilet paper roll, okay? And you start and you wrap it around. Now here's the thing, when you wrap it around, you have a little bit of an extra, can you see that? There's a little bit of an extra left over. So then what you're gonna do, we're gonna take, oh, this is like flip for me. We're gonna make um, right here on this end seam where it's opened, Let's do it this way. There we go. Glue, put some glue here and glue right here, okay? Either hot glue or Elmer's glue. Now, if you'll notice, my thumb is staying here trying to hold this on, okay? Because it's it's not dry yet. The same way you'd have to do with Elmer's glue, okay? All right, so I'm putting the glue on the seams. All right, and then you're going to wrap it around as tight as you can where they overlay each other, okay? Because it's not going to be, look, see the difference in the hole? I don't know if you can or not, but this one's a lot smaller, the hole that we're making for the handle, than a normal toilet paper roll, okay? Because if I put this on here, look, the normal roll, that's way too big for a handle, okay? That's the reason why we're having to trim it. All right. Now, once this is done, 
I usually put, if you've got Tom Sanders, put just like another little um, roll of super glue around the edge and kind of let it dry. Okay. And what you do then is um, the kids will take a pen and I have some wipes where you can sanitize in between each wipe okay, or each student using the pen. I usually clean it real quick before I hand it to them. Write their name. They can write their name so that way you can start gluing the next one. Kids, I want you to write your name on there and then on the other, um, turn it a little bit and then write your teacher's name. So like if this was Thomas's, my son, you need to put Thomas Boyd and then on the other side, he put Miss Cunningham, okay? If you're at home, decorate this sucker. Get some crayons, some markers, make this really cool. And I would love to see pictures of your maracas if you make it. Okay, so now look, I have a maraca in my hand. Now, here's the other thing. Listen, you cannot swing this as hard as you want and swing and swing. And you cannot bottle flip it. Do not bottle flip this maraca, okay? Because what's going to happen is it's going to take this handle off if you're wild with it, okay? Please do not be wild with it. Ah. Before you leave, though, Miss Sanders will collect your maracas because they will go inside your music kits with your drums, okay? These are going to go inside it because every time we do a country, remember, we are making an instrument, and the instrument goes inside your drum. When we finish the countries, you're going to take it all home, okay? Miss Boyd is not keeping your drums or your maracas. Then you can teach someone at home or a cousin in them all about the different countries that you've learned about and the different instruments that you have inside your music kit, okay? All right. So this is what the maraca looks for, and this is for third and fourth grade. This is how you'll make yours, okay? If you have any questions or you're struggling making it, send me a message or an email, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Hopefully, y'all at home, this helps explain a little bit of it. All right. And that way, you can uh, make your maraca at home. You can make it with the Easter egg that There's a lot of different things that you could do um, with making a maraca, okay? And next week, we'll probably do some more patterns with it just because it's fun. And I know it takes all class period usually to make maracas, so some of you will need... Uh, some of you will be at the end of the line and not get to really do much with your maraca. All righty. Y'all have fun and miss seeing you guys. Hope you still enjoy music. Y'all give a big shout out to Miss Sanders for doing this while I'm gone because, well, honestly, I'm sure a sub doesn't really want to make maracas with their kids. Um, it'd be easier to just have color sheets in a movie. But I don't want y'all to get behind. And I know I told y'all this week you'd make maracas, okay? All right. I see you alligators later. Have a good day. If I can figure out how to stop recording, huh? Matarachi band, huh? All right, here we go. See y'all later.